like most reviews which focus on new games, this video will focus on pre-owned games and whether or not they're still worth buying when the price is a lot lower. The first of these games I'll be reviewing are Motorstorm and the sequel, Motorstorm Pacific Rift. You may be wondering why I've chose these games. Well, the third game in the series, Apocalypse, has been packaged with many PS3s, and some players may be wondering about the other two games in the series. After playing both games extensively, I would say that both games are definitely worth playing. Although each game in the series is somewhat different, all of them focus on the same theme, which is having multiple vehicle classes and routes to choose from, although it's worth noting that monster trucks don't appear until the second game. Now, let's get right to comparing both games. Both of them have great graphics, like the third, but each game's visual style is somewhat different. In terms of gameplay, the original attempts to be somewhat more realistic, while Pacific Rift, in my opinion, is somewhat more arcade-like. The original Motorstorm can feel a little slow sometimes, while Pacific Rift is always more fast-paced. The original definitely places a greater emphasis on realistic vehicle damage and destruction. Both games have relatively long single-player campaigns, with many different race and vehicle combinations to choose from for each event. However, Pacific Rift's festival has a greater variety of events, with time trials and elimination races. The real deciding factor for each game is multiplayer. The servers for the original Motorstorm are down and have been down for a while. In the original Motorstorm, this may also affect single-player if you were hoping on getting some DLC. You need to download a patch in order to use downloadable content in the original Motorstorm. But, since the servers are down, you may not be able to get it. When I first got Motorstorm a few months ago, I was still able to get the patch in the US, but I'm not sure if the servers are still online now. Now, there is a version of the original Motorstorm called Motorstorm Complete, which does have all of the downloadable content on the disk but it can be hard to find, and if you're in the U.S., you would have to import a copy. Overall, it's probably better if you just stick to the standard version of the game. For Pacific Rift, the online situation is much better. You can sometimes still find a multiplayer game online, and the servers are, of course, still up. If you're in the U.S., I suggest you switch your search preference so that you're looking for European online matches, as the game is still more popular in Europe. If you like earning trophies, you may be disappointed to hear that the original Motorstorm has none. Pacific Rift has a lot of trophies, but a few of them are based on multiplayer achievements that you probably won't be able to earn, but as the number of online players is significantly lower than it was at launch, so you probably won't be getting the Platinum Trophy for Motorstorm Pacific Rift. Overall, I'd say that both of these games are definitely worth playing. They're similar enough to the latest installment, but different in their own way. Both have lengthy online modes, and for one of them, online play still works. I'd suggest that you just get both at the same time, as the original Motorstorm is a lot cheaper than Pacific Rift if you're looking for a used copy, so you could probably get both at once and just combine shipping costs. Overall, these are two solid games that you can find for a good price on the used game market. If you'd like to see more of these reviews, let me know, and thanks for watching.